Hi, it's Chris with Implied Music. On this channel, we talk about substitutions and how to embellish and, and create new striking epic chord sounds, jazz chords, but sometimes the best solution is a diatonic chord carefully embellished. We're gonna talk about plagal embellishments today. <laughs> This is like a pianist thing, I think, but it's great for strings. Guitarists use it, hammer-ons and pull-offs all the time. Um, listen to this simple chord progression, and then I'll give you the embellished version of it. Okay, so this is C, F, second inversion, A minor, first inversion, G, first inversion. The roots, are there, present, nice and solid in the bass. And you can see simple but carefully voiced versions of the chords on top. And it's not gonna win you any awards, but it sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Now, what's a plagal cadence? Okay, real quickly, let's review that question. So if, um, if you go back to look at my cadence video, there's a, it's, four important types, but the plagal cadence is unique in that it's a soft cadence. It goes 4-1. Four, 4-1 one. Four, one is a nice sound. And you can do it kind of anywhere. If I'm gonna go to G, C, G, D minor, A minor, C to G, and then F back to C. That was kind of like a string of plagal cadences, right? Now we can take advantage of the fact that those always sound good and create embellishments to that original chord progression. Remember the chord progression was C, F, A minor, G. Now, the simplest way to do this is to take just one of the notes from the four of each of the chords and drop it in beforehand. And this is what I like to do when I'm playing piano. It's kind of a variation of something we call the Floyd riff. So in the case of the uh, C chord, that G would be replaced by an A right above it down to the G. In other words, the fifth is replaced for a moment, suspended by the note right above it. And in the case of the F chord, the C is the fifth. I would do the same thing there. We can do the same thing with each of these chords, and if we do, this is what we get. It's a strong sound. And uh, you may recognize it as being sort of part of the country vocabulary, but it's also super useful for uh, any kind of uh, indie rock. And it appears in certain versions in R&B, gospel, soul. Those are all basically plagal embellishments, and it's a powerful tool. Let's do it one more time and look a little more closely at the actual keyboard, because the vo voicings become kind of important this way. You can see it happening, I know, on the, you know, on the MIDI screen, but let's really focus our attention now on the keyboard. The basic plagal sound always looks like this, that second inversion down to a root position triad. And fingering-wise, and this is worth talking about for those of you who are pianists, what I'm using is three and five for the top two notes, three and five down to two and four. So it goes three and five, two and four, and the thumb is there. So my triad is one, two, four. And then my extended triad is one, three, five.
And what that means for me as a pianist, and you can try this too, is that those top two fingers, three and five, are my embellishment fingers. And it's kind of smart when you're learning to do this to think, I have my solid triad fingers and I have my embellishment fingers. So let's take a look at what that might be like as I move around to a couple of different chords. All right, solid triad, embellishment finger, down to the solid triad, same thing here on D. On B flat. Down to F. Getting used to letting your thumb be sort of an anchor rhythm point and then having these top two fingers be the embellishment fingers and these fingers be the solid location fingers is a really powerful way to begin to do this. Beyond that, well, I guess if we were just arranging and putting in horns and strings, we could just play a chord that we like, get out the scissor tool, chop one of the notes in half and move it up a scale degree, right? This way we get six going down to five, six going down to five, or four and six going down to three and five. Well, it's a really great way to embellish simple diatonic chords, the sort of plagal embellishment. I don't know if that's a real name, but it's what I call it in my head because it's that amen sound. Well, I hope this has been useful. Like and subscribe and ding the bell for notifications. I'll see you next time.